If you've set foot outdoors in the last several hundred thousand years, you've likely been accosted by nature's miserable little bastards, the dreaded mosquito. There are more than 3,000 species worldwide, and roughly 200 of those bite animals to ingest their blood. In that group of 200 species, only the female mosquito bites. So the actual numbers of flying nuisances that leave you scratching like a lunatic is really quite small compared to the overall worldwide numbers. If you're lucky, you'll just itch for a while. Mosquitoes also carry life-threatening diseases such as yellow fever, dengue fever, Japanese encephalitis, rift valley fever, chika, chinga, the whatever virus, West Nile virus, and the Zika virus. Mosquito bites are estimated to kill somewhere around 730,000 people every year. So why don't we just exterminate them? Kill them all. But is it plausible to even wipe out the 200 species of biting mosquitoes? And how would it affect the rest of the ecosystem? As far as plausibility goes, it's only become a reasonable idea over the last few years. There is no hope of eradicating mosquitoes using old-fashioned techniques like pesticides or any other method of poisoning. Not only would untold millions of mosquitoes and larvae avoid dying, but the volume of poisonous material required would clearly affect any number of other species that humans do not want to eliminate. And it would poison bodies of water around the world, because that's where a vast majority of mosquito species lay eggs to produce the next generation of hateful little monsters. Plus, mosquitoes are becoming resistant to typical pesticides. So yeah, just forget about that entirely. But now we have the maturing field of genetic engineering, which is much more effective, cleaner, and selective. And science already has two ideas. The first one engineers male mosquitoes to only produce sterile offspring. Then the male is released back into nature to breed. It's an idea that's both sneaky and clever, but it means that a spectacular volume of male mosquitoes have to be engineered to put a meaningful dent in the overall population. Female mosquitoes can produce 500 eggs, up to three times during their short lives, and if only one of her breeding partners has been engineered, that's still a thousand new mosquitoes out there. A second genetic option is more of a Trojan horse for the mosquito world. Instead of producing sterile offspring, male mosquitoes are engineered with an enzyme that affects the X chromosome. As a result, modified mosquitoes produce offspring that are male in 95% of all cases. Not only do male mosquitoes not bite, but they'll gradually tilt the scales of sexual diversity to a point where there are very few female options left in the area because virtually none are being born. A mosquito's entire life lasts a maximum of six weeks, so the process could be quicker than you'd guess. In a few months, we could wind up with a whole bunch of very disappointed male mosquitoes, and dramatically reduced overall numbers. In what was probably the most satisfying laboratory experiment of all time, an entire mosquito population was wiped out after only six generations. Okay, so can it happen? Well, the genetic engineering angle is still quite new, but the answer is pretty clearly yes. But should humans be editing nature? No creature is an island on this crazy planet, and surely the elimination of mosquitoes would eventually trickle down the ecological chain somehow. Next thing you know, humans are being born with an additional nose or something, right? Well, maybe. Lots of creatures rely on mosquitoes for food. Lots of them, including the cryptically named mosquito fish. Mosquitoes are available in areas where there isn't much else to eat, so they're pretty important in the food chain. Losing 200 of the 3,000 plus total species would still put a significant dent in that, especially because large areas may only contain a handful of species. Birds, frogs, bats, other insects, and even turtles eat mosquitoes, but none of them eat only mosquitoes. Even the mosquito fish is more culinarily diverse than its name suggests. Scientists are often reluctant to offer definitive answers to questions about ecological repercussions, but even most of them admit that virtually all animals that rely on mosquitoes as food would pretty quickly shift to eating something else. Feeding patterns are deeply ingrained from countless generations of genetic programming, so many fish and bird numbers would temporarily drop if mosquitoes disappeared tomorrow. But none of them are so completely reliant on one type of food to disappear entirely themselves. They might even adapt during the scant few months or years that it would take to eliminate mosquitoes through genetic modification in a given area. Even plants that use mosquitoes to spread pollen have other options that they could turn to pretty quickly. Try as they might, nobody can really justify the existence of mosquitoes. And extermination might actually come to pass. Test runs have already happened in areas where mosquito-borne disease is a meaningful health risk, and it reduced numbers by up to 90%. If it happens on a larger scale, the species most responsible for disease transmission would be the first to go. After that, 
Who knows? Maybe the sheer nuisance becomes good enough reason to exterminate all the species that bite animals. And I can only hope that I'm alive long enough to see the last one of those miserable little jerks fall from the sky. And I'll dance on its grave. That's right, I'll dig a tiny grave for the last mosquito, just to dance on it. Tiny little headstone and everything. Huh. Anyway, if you like this video, share it with every living creature that you encounter. Not mosquitoes, though. They don't deserve it. And for heaven's sake, like and subscribe for more from the Wild AC channel. Thanks for watching.